looking out of both corners of my head. And also, I just got it on Etsy. Yeah. What is up my friends? It's Cassie and welcome back to another vlog. I don't know why I'm going the musical theater route today. Um, I am Cassie. I am 24. I live in New York City and this is me trying to figure out how life works. Join the club. It's Saturday today. I just got back from the first day of a new acting class that I'm taking, which make sure you subscribe because I'm making a whole video about everything I'm doing career-wise, acting-wise, and that will come at the end of this month. Subscribe and keep an eye out, but I'm starving. It's 2.41. The trains were so slow. The trains are always messed up on the weekends, but especially today, I'm gonna make some lunch and then we'll chat a little more. I just wanted to say hey and welcome to another New York City vlog with me, Cassie. My apartment's been freezing as it's starting getting colder in New York. There were flurries when I was walking to my class today. I remembered I had this heating pad. My mom got me for cramps, but it works beautifully as a nice little personal heater. The real hack is I put it between my sheets and I plug it in before I get in the shower at night. And then when I get out of the shower and get into bed, my sheets are all warm and it makes me feel like royalty. So I'm gonna sit here with my little heating pad on my lap, especially as I drink a cold smoothie eat my grilled cheese and read this book that my aunt Deb sent me literally over the summer and then I immediately left for LA and I didn't bring any physical books with me but I'm now reading it and I'm very excited I'm on chapter four by the wonders of the internet I discovered something recently called a simmer pot which is where you basically take aromatic things simmer them in a pot on your stove for a couple hours to kind of fill your apartment with a delicious smell I had a lemon left over that Henry and I used the rind of in a recipe and then I had some rosemary left over from a recipe so I chopped up the lemon and threw the rosemary and the lemon into the pot and uh, now it's bubbling on the stove can't smell it yet but I literally just put it on it's just barely boiling so I'm gonna turn it to a simmer and hopefully it makes my apartment smell lovely especially because this stinky cat lives here yes I'm talking to you Stanford my favorite place this Sunday morning, Amy's Bread, that I just discovered a few days ago. The other day on a whim, Henry and I bought a baguette for a soup we were making. For the heck of it, it was like, why am I going to buy a sticky bun too? It says best in New York. And when I tell you I am now addicted to sticky buns, I have had such a sweet tooth over the last week or so, which is abnormal for me. I have been craving sugar and this sticky bun just hits the spot. It's like a cinnamon roll, but instead of frosting on on top. It has like caramelized pecans and like sticky sugar. Oh my god. I had never had one before. I, I have seen the light. So Henry's in line braving the tourists to order for us. And it's a beautiful day today. So we might go on a little New York walk. walk it's definitely starting to feel like winter in new york the wind is very cold my little rug came yay it looks so cute it's a lot softer actually than i thought it was gonna be it's a pretty good size for the space i ordered it a few vlogs ago but i'll link it down below again i just got it on etsy i've been feeling a little weird and anxious today maybe because i had so much freaking sugar and caffeine and that was all I had for much of the day you know what honestly that's it that's why I'm kind of vibrating I just did my yoga with Adrian for the day I think I've talked in multiple vlogs about how I'm just working through her little 30-day journey at my own pace today that the one I did was day 10 energy and it was perfect it helped get some energy flow in and I'm feeling a little better but now I am craving 
this ranch dip that my mom makes. And I don't think I'll be able to find the same dip mix that she uses. I think I'm legit gonna run to the grocery store just to find ranch dip mix because I have some carrots and some sugar snap peas here that I can eat with it. This week my body has just been craving pasta, cheese, sugar, carbohydrate, comforting kind of foods. It's okay to go through phases like this. Like I don't have a problem with it. It's just something I really notice. I go with my body needs. I give it what it needs because I know it won't last forever. And the era is ending for sure. I think the caffeine sticky bun for breakfast combo made my body be like please eat some vegetables. Also, I'm drinking a poppy. My favorite, ginger lime, is the best flavor, and I need some veg. We are gonna go to the grocery store. Tell me why these one, two, three, four, five items were $23. I literally hate New York sometimes. I got uh, some goat cheese because it sounded good i don't know what intuitive eating is but i think this might be it so it says you're just supposed to mix the mix with two cups of sour cream but my mom said she does a cup of sour cream and a cup of mayonnaise so i'm following my mama and this is not the mix she usually uses but this is all they had i can find a photo of the one she uses it'll be on the screen this is so nostalgic because my parents had this exact Tupperware and this is exactly what my mom really makes this in and the cat is running around like crazy Still haven't bought chip clips. It's just one of those adult things. I can't bring myself to buy Not exactly the same as my mom's but it will do. I'm feasting. I have these bananas that were looking rough. I bought them to use in smoothies anyways, but I haven't used them as fast as I thought I would. So I chopped them up and put them on a baking sheet and threw them in the freezer so that they can freeze without sticking together. And then I'll throw them in a big container and keep them in the freezer for smoothies. Oh my God, the cat. <laughs> you know, you love it. Much later now. Talk to my mom on the phone, talk to Melanie on the phone. Both of them made me feel less anxious, which is good. And now I've just packed my lunch for tomorrow and I'm feeling like a Brooklyn mommy. What I neglected to mention in the lead up to this clip is that I'm about to teach an all day camp the following day, so I'm packing my lunch. But I am my own child. I have this little bento box thing that all the kids have sugar snap peas. I put some ranch, put it in a flask bag in the cup because I was worried it would seep through and then I have some peach gummy hearts I got this like pasta salad at Whole Foods today because I haven't gone grocery shopping in a hot sec look at this on fire the lunch is packed the outfits picked out it's 8 p.m. so I'm gonna shower read my book and try and fall asleep early because my alarm is currently set for 6 40 it's so early it's so cold I don't think I fall asleep until well after midnight. I could not get my brain to turn off. So I am truly deeply exhausted and remembering how terrible it was to wake up every morning when I was a barista. It's so cold in my apartment <laughs> that getting out of bed was a struggle. I just made my tea. I'm gonna get ready and brave the weather. It's 29 degrees right now and it's supposed to start snowing any minute. This is Hi. Remember when I yesterday bought those five things and it was $23? Yeah, I'm about to spout Trader Joe's supremacy. There's a Trader Joe's by where I worked today. So I stopped by on my way home. Here's what I got for $32. I already drank this. They didn't have the regular sourdough, but honestly, this one's a really great size. The best soup. I've never seen these before and I am obsessed with Madeline's. For grilled cheese and tomato soup, obviously. Ooh, mac and cheese. And this is the tart I was talking about last week. Literally the best thing Trader Joe's does. Uh, you can't even see me. Camp was whack today. Kids had accidents five times, which is a rough day. Usually does not happen that often. I did touch some child urine today. Occupational hazard. 410. I have therapy at five, which I'm very excited for. I did not have it last week because my therapist was sick. I definitely have two weeks worth of material. So for Giving Tuesday, I donated to, I don't know if you follow, Patagonia on Instagram. Highly recommend. They are a drag queen environmental activist. I'll link down below. But I donated to a 
fundraiser they were doing for Giving Tuesday for 10 diverse outdoor nonprofits. If you were one of the first certain number of people to donate, or maybe it was if you donated at least $20 or something like that, you got a sheet of stickers. So I'm obsessed. Very gay. Hydrate or die straight. I love this one. If you feel dead inside, get the fuck outside. I wish I could put this on my water bottle, but since I work with kids, I feel like I cannot. So I am gonna put hydrate or die straight on my water bottle because most of them can't read. And I'm gonna put if you feel dead inside, get the fuck outside on my computer. My lips are so red because they were so dry. I got extremely dehydrated today. I was not drinking enough water at all. Cause I was wearing a mask for most of the day inside as I was working. I cannot get my computer cover off. I was wearing a mask for most of the day inside. And also there... Cool, I think that crack was already there. These are the current laptop stickers. I never thought I'd become a sticker girl on my laptop. I started with just these three stars, but then I gradually added much more. Um, as we can see, usually I don't stick them right on my computer. Most of these are literally just like loose or or I have a little bit of tape behind them. They go under my clear cover. And I think I showed these two in my last vlog. I don't know why I'm like sticker account now, but now I have this. I'm back from therapy. It was great. I need another one. Got some girl time. Backing my computer up to my external hard drive. Tomorrow I'm taking it to the Genius Bar because it's been doing this thing for a while now. In fact, it may have started doing it last year, but then it stopped because it mostly happens when it's cold. It does this thing where it will just turn off and then it won't turn back on until I plug it into the charger. The more it happens, the more I fear that someday it will turn off and not turn back on. I have had this computer for five and a half, almost six years. I fear for a Mac it may be reaching the end of its days within the next few years, but I really don't want to spend a thousand dollars on a computer right now. But right now I'm backing it up. I'm freezing cold. I genuinely feel like this is the season in New York where you're either way too hot or way too cold. Everyone's apartment that I talk to is either their building runs the heat and they have to keep their window open even when it's 30 degrees outside because their apartment is so hot and they can't control the heat. That's what Henry's is like. I literally go over there and lay around in a t-shirt because it's sweltering. He runs the AC every night when I spend the night. Meanwhile, I'm over here shivering my petunias off this backing up thing is probably gonna take a long time i'm just gonna let it run i'm gonna hop in the bath henry got me some goop brand bath powder for christmas which is quite lovely it smells really good and i've been enjoying hot baths during this frigid season i gotta chug some water while i'm in the bath because i'm still very dehydrated Bring your left heel in. It's 1024. Just gotten dressed. I'm wearing this Tinkerbell shirt that I thrifted a couple weeks ago. Finally clean. Just got a cheeky matcha. I'm having a legit allergy attack. Like I'm crying right now and sneezing up a storm. Ugh. People walking by me are probably like, is she okay? Look, I have tears coming out of both corners of my eye. Am I okay? Are they shit out of luck to ask my phone well because they don't have a phone number? Go to your phone. So my Mac is a 2017. The guy at the Genius Bar told me, starting I think with my model or maybe the model before, Apple started using a new kind of battery that is a liquid battery. So when I'm having this issue in the winter, it's literally because my battery is like freezing. It doesn't turn on because it literally just needs to warm up. And everything else, even the battery report came back totally fine. My battery has like 85% capacity, I think. He recommended just keep using it, just know that the cold is what's legitimately affecting it, which is insane. It's crazy that that's just what happens with a liquid battery. It makes sense. To get the battery replaced is $199. It would just keep happening because it's a liquid battery either way. It would just be a new liquid battery. Basically, this is just happening because my apartment is literally freezing and it's freezing my laptop. Now I'm in Lincoln Center. I'm gonna pop into the New York Public Library for the performing arts, read through some scenes to pick a scene for my acting class to do with my partner. He sent me some options and we chatted about some options. So I just need to read through a bunch of stuff. Also, shout out Roy at the Genius Bar. He had great vibes. He was so nice. Really brightened my day, that man. Okay, I'm going in.